to give this uh, battery a good look with your eyes and see if do you think I think this is a good battery pack do you think I think this is easy to repair no 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 way no way as you can see they did something very strange they built this battery pack like a little boat and that's not good you do not want a battery pack that looks like a little boat but that's not the problem that's not the problem at all this is a Pantera battery and it's most likely built by the idiots in Germany called BMZ Panterwerk they trusted BMZ and as you can see this one is damaged when you have a handle like this it's many times get damaged you usually you drop it and there's a um, sprickor in here and when someone tries to pull it out of the box it, it, it just breaks now this is the inside and I've already opened it and they're using Panasonic cells and these are from 2011 so it has lasted quite a good amount of time I'm expecting these to be almost out of capacity but since they were using Panasonic cells it's still alive and it's a 27 volt but isn't this a 36 volt battery no it's a 24 volt battery if I don't miss recall I think there's also a 36 volt version probably not I well, might have seen it in my nightmares however yeah. it has heat shrink tubing but how do you get heat shrink tubing when a battery pack looks like this in the bottom it just doesn't make any sense and the heat shrink tubing isn't really holding it in place and it's not protecting against water it's just in the way and we're using the same connector as the smaller battery packs which are a lot easier to work with and it was a while since I accepted one of these battery packs so, and they're using this 4 pin connector to make sure you're only using original chargers. And if, for some reason, like Pantera Verke is no more and you have to go with, an, another, with uh, any other charger, you can buy any other 24 volt charger and why is this stuck? Okay, so you have to unscrew the lid as well. As you can see, they're using pin 1 as positive and pin 4 as negative. And they're using 4 pin XLR. So there's absolutely no reason why you should buy their fucking chargers. It might be a little easier because it's come with a 4 pin connector. But you definitely do not have to. Yep, you're gonna have to remove this lid as well. Or do we? Yes, we do. Could have made the hole a little bit bigger. But now, had to do not that is been yes and can you pull it out yes but the wires you have to cut the wire so oh but I won't be reusing the original BMS so there's no reason for me not to cut the wires there you go now you're free little charging port and now no 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 way it should be that easy Oh, this one is gonna be stuck over here. Do I accept that? No, I can unscrew the indicator as well. And I hopefully remember that this is the screw for the indicator and please don't give me any more problems. And of course, like that, please don't be any more trouble. Finally. The config is this is uh, a misery of its own and everything in here is like I usually don't accept this but it's been a while so I haven't had this battery pack in my nightmares for quite a while We can remove this plate and you will see the stupid boat config it doesn't make any sense I have three cells down here and I have seven down here mm. and if you <laughs> look pretty good. If you look good, you will see that these are not aligned in a line. They go down, they go up, they go down, they go, they go straight, they go down, they go on the side. So you cannot use one strip and you cannot glue them together like this. Oh, You will have to put them in the case and glue every single one of these together. And as you can see, there is a fire pig and fire pig pin configuration and they have doing this kind of 
silly wires between every one of these because why would you use nickel between the cells? Have to use these jumper wires between all the cell blocks and you have the final one over here. So it's not easy to work with, it's not fun to work with and I'm definitely gonna be replacing the BMS. I do not like them, they don't have a cooling pad, they do not have a GST connector so you have to solder every one of these on and the config is so difficult to remember so you will most likely solder one of these on wrong. And here you can see the name of the BMS. It doesn't seem like um, a BMC original, just something they bought. And Axion AG, and AG is, um, I don't know what to tell you, but most likely BMC is behind this. It's their fucking style and they do the other batteries for Panterwerke as well. You have battery, okay, but minus, C minus, Where's P minus? Okay, they're using the same port for both charging and discharging the battery. Of course, you can do that. Now, what the fuck? What the fuck? C minus, charging minus is going to the battery minus, and battery minus is going to the discharging port and charging port. So maybe this were installed incorrectly, and this one had no protection at all. Or they just write silly names to confuse anyone that opened this. Either way, you should not accept this unless you have a lot of spare time. Because just gluing them together. And, and these fillers, if they did the case, why are they adding these stupid fillers that break and leave a lot of um, dirt in the case? Why didn't they just make it a little bit smaller? Everything in here I hate. But of course it's possible to repair. There are only two pins for this charging and this mess over here for charging. And you can replace the charger, so there's no problem giving your customer a good warranty on this. However, it's not well protected against water and it's not well protected against bumps. And um, you probably have to pry pretty hard on this one to get it off, so but I'm gonna give him a prize for a 5P operation. And it's gonna be with the new BMS. And there's something black over here. Is it just tape around the cells? Or did they add something else that I think is stupid? There are probably just a little bit tape around these cells for no, no apparent reason at all. If you were gonna add tape around these cells, you were gonna add them at the top where the positive connection is. Or are you think this is gonna short circuit some way? How would that even work? None of these are sharp. This is sharp, you should have had this one over here. So there are several faults with this battery pack, several logical faults with this battery pack. But I'm lucky, I'm in Sweden and not a lot of people bought this kind of battery. And there is no date code or serial code at all. But if you go to uh, Web Archive, uh, Internet Time Machine, you can look at their website. It's probably just as flashy and strange looking as this battery pack under here. Okay, that will be it. I will repair this because I don't have extreme amounts of piles of batteries laying up. I can do this and it will probably work fine, but be aware of this battery pack from Panterwerke, most likely designed by BMZ in Germany, connected the wrong way with the tape on the wrong space. Yay!